three ingredient Nutella brownie and it's going to be hazelnut. You need one cup of Nutella, eight ounces. You need two eggs, 10 tablespoons of all-purpose flour, and you wanna mix it all together. So let's get started. We're gonna put the Nutella in, just like this. And I'm using hazelnut. Mmm, smells good. I took a small taste and I've got a little bit left. So it's early here and I'm going to have a piece of toast and some of this Nutella on it. Mmm, that would be really yummy. And this Grammy's tummy. Oh my goodness. Get it all out here. There we go. Just like that. Get some of the Nutella off the spatula here. Got my Grammy spoon. How about that? There you have it right there. It's a lot still on here. I can't see throwing this in the wash pan when there's this much Nutella left on it. Got to get all you can. Okay, just like that. So why did I do that when I had to stick it back into the chocolate? Oh, you wouldn't know this Grammy's tired this morning. 10 tablespoons of flour. We'll just do a little bit like that. And there's two eggs, but we'll just put one in. Just get to incorporate it a little to get it started. Just like that. This is going to make a real thick batter. It says to use a eight by 12 pan. I do happen to have one. That's probably my favorite pan that I use quite often. And they're hard to find that size today. So if you go to look to find one, good luck with that. If I see one into an antique store or something, I buy it. This is the first time I've made these brownies. I have a granddaughter that loves anything Nutella, so I thought I'd make these up for her. You can also make these um, Nutella cookies, Nutella, uh, Nutella um, trifles, all sorts of things you can make with Nutella. Uh, get my muscles right into it this morning. And it says to line your pan with parchment paper, so I did. Me, I think I might have used an eight by eight pan now, now that I'm looking at this batter, never working with it before, but I'm gonna follow the directions. That way we can all see how it's going to come out. I feel like I'm bending this morning. I guess I don't have my camera far enough back. It's hard because I have to put it behind this divider right here. Okay. This is your pan right here, your eight by 12. We got a storm rolling in today. How's the weather out your way? Just plop it in. Like it said, it said to use parchment paper. So I did, I also oiled the pan too. How's everybody doing on their Christmas baking if you bake? And if you don't bake, that's okay. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, hey, that's okay too. Everybody does things differently. If we all did the same thing in the world, it'd be some boring now, wouldn't it? See, this is all you, the batter you get. So, I'm not sure on this, but we're gonna find out. I'm sure my Miss Healy, she's not gonna, it's not gonna matter to her how thick or how thin or how big they are. She just loves the taste. I just text her to find out when she was working in my area next. She works for the state of Maine. 
and she has a couple of offices and one is by me. So if I don't see her, I will package it up really good with some parchment paper and then I'll ziplock it once and then I'll ziplock it twice and then I'll put it in the, in the freezer for her. Oh yeah, it's spreading out nice. It is a nice thick batter. Actually, it's spreading and looking better than what I thought it was going to. See, you never know. Get it all nice and good here. I don't believe they're gonna rise much because there's nothing in it for rising. But they'll be good. And by the way, I use King Arthur flour. That's all I use. I use that in my breads, my pie crust, brownies, cookies, everything. That's my go-to flour. It's a little more expensive than the off-brands, but I get great results. And I always say, if you're gonna get good results, why change? And you could also um, top these off with Walnuts, or oh my goodness, M&Ms. I just thought of that. Next time I'll do it with M&Ms. She likes M&Ms. So you're gonna put this in the oven at 350 for 20 to 25 minutes. You want the outside edges really cooked nice and brown, and you want the um, the middle, I'm trying to, what is this? It's part of the egg. You want the um, middle nice and gooey. So these are a fudgy brownie. Okay, I'll bring you back just as soon as we get them out of the oven and get them Okay, cut folks, I'm back and we're ready to try it. So you don't need to see me right now. You need to see what it come out like. It came out good. Like I said, it didn't rise like I didn't think it was going to, but I'm gonna pan you down and we're gonna check it out. Here it is right here. We're gonna cut it. Well, first we're gonna test it. I always take a long skew and I go in like this and there's nothing. If there's nothing that comes out on here, it's all done. Sometimes I use a pizza cutter to cut with, but today I'm just going to use this. Mm. Make bigger pieces. Just like this. Last one, two. I'm making big pieces. You can see it's coming right away. It's cooled off nicely. And I think I'll just make one more. I'll trim these off. And Ray can have these pieces right here. I've got this cute little plate right here. And like I said, I will be, as um, soon as I hear from her, I will know how to do these up. These are very yummy. Come out great. Still a little warm right here. Don't these look good? And I'll put the recipe down below in the description box. Not much to it. She will be so happy to get these. Just like this. Now, who wouldn't, who wouldn't want a nice plate of these hazel nutters? Mmm, brownies. How good is that? So here you have it right here, folks. Don't they really look good? 
Yum. Now I'm going to take this small piece right here and Ray gets to have the other two. So I'm going to bring you up. Hope you don't get sick on the way up. Ah. Here I am. Hi. Let's try this. Here's the plate again. How good is this? I'm going to try this. That's good. It's got a good hazelnut flavor. And look at this. Cooked really well on the bottom. Mmm. Eat the crumbs. Mmm, mmm. If you like this video, please give me thumbs up. You never know what's going to be on my videos, neither do I. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please share my videos so YouTube can see. There's a lot going on here at Maniac Grammys. And um, I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day. God bless. Bye now.